Oh, wow. A mom? Where am I? You're in the hospital, dear. You passed out after the match, and they rushed you here. Is that what happened? I'm sorry. I made you worry, didn't I? Oh, yes. I was extremely worried. But I'm just happy that you're awake now. I'm sorry. That's all right. Instead of worrying about my feelings, I want you to worry about your own health. <laughs> hey, look! Sleeping Beauty's awake! Come on, show some manners. This is a hospital, so keep your big fat voice down. So, hey, Ippo, how you feeling? Oh. Your pals have been here every day to see you. What, Mom? You said they're here for me? Yeah! I'm sorry I made you guys worry. I'm gonna be just fine now. Is it time yet? Yep, just about. She's the punctual type. I love that in a woman. Huh? What are they so excited about? Check-up time! Huh? Mr. Makanouchi, you're finally away! Um, that's right. It's wonderful that you could come every day. My pleasure. Looks like his fever is down, so he should be okay now. Thank you for all your help. He's been a great patient. I think we'll be able to release him in just a few short days. They were only interested in the nurse. Well, Mr. Makanouchi, it's time to extract your urine. What? Uh, are you saying you've been doing it like this every day? <laughs> Stand back, my dear. I'll handle this. All right, Aoki, you know the drill. Squeeze it out of him. Yes, what do you think you're going to do? At first, it was scary because that nasty old salami was so big. But now I'm totally used to it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 never mind. I'll do it myself, weirdos. Gee, some guys can't take a helping hand. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe they did that to me while I was unconscious. What the? I'll stop by later for his afternoon checkup. Hey, hey. What about, you know? Shh. Don't talk about it. The head nurse will hear you. So about the group date. Well, actually, the girls got really excited when I told them that you guys were boxers. Oh, yeah? Yep, it's a go. All right! Oh, and you've got to bring Ippo along, too. All the nurses have flipped over him. He's such a little cutie. No problemo. We'll just casually set something up the minute he's released. There's four of us. Now, just to double check, you'll be bringing three other girls? Leave it to me. I'll make sure we're all there. Oh, I know. I can ask this new junior nurse who's related to a bosser. She'll be perfect because then you guys will have something to talk about. Well, I'd better be going now. We're counting on you, our little angel of mercy. Looking forward to it. Bye, guys. <laughs> Good thing that ink rinsed off. I guess I'm not fully recovered yet. Are you okay? Um, just fine. You look tired. I don't think you should be walking around just yet. Uh, oh, the girl at the bakery. Do you remember me? I know it's been a long time since I last saw you. Um, well, I'm, uh, I'm, uh... I bet you've forgotten about me, haven't you? Uh, no, that's not it. I mean, I know who you are. You're Mashiba's sister, right? Oh, so you remember me after all. Well, sure. I remember you quite well. <clears throat> she saw that match. She must hate me for beating her brother. And after that fight, my big brother keeps saying the same thing over and over. I'm gonna get even with Makanouchi. Oh, but I really don't want any of that to upset you. I don't hate you at all because of the way the match turned out. And I'm sure my brother doesn't really hate your guts or want to see you dead. Because after that match, he's become even more focused and passionate about his boxing. And because of his new attitude, I have a new one too. I can cheer him on now and really mean it. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Oh, that's right. I didn't get to see the rest of the Class 8 tournament. How'd he end up doing? Did he win? <laughs> huh? So you mean he won his tournament? Yes. Wow, that's really great. I'm so happy to hear that. It's inspiring to know he's doing well. He's an awesome fighter. Uh, by the way... Yeah? I came up to you because I wanted to tell you something. Oh, gosh. I just wanted to tell you that I'm relieved to see you looking so healthy again. I was... really worried about you. Huh? Uh. Uh. 
She said she was worried about me. With her face bright red. No. No. Don't get your hopes up. You're just making a big deal out of nothing. Well, maybe she likes me. Mr. Makinouchi? Ah, yes? Um, well, your fly is open. Ah! Oh, so that's what it was all about. I should have known. <sighs> what? A victory slash release from the hospital celebration? That sounds great. I'll be there in just a minute. Hey, sorry to keep you waiting. No, you're finally here. Hey, you're late, doof. I'm sorry about holding you up. You didn't have to go to all this trouble for me. Ah, think nothing of it. I'll be the MC tonight. I guarantee a good time. Ah, thanks. You're a good friend. So, what about it? Where are we going? Hey, patience, Grasshopper. We're waiting for the others. Huh? I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah. yeah! Sorry, we're late. It was harder than I thought to get all four girls together. It took a lot of coordination. No, don't sweat it. We just got here ourselves. It's no biggie. There's our star patient, Ebo. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? So now I see what you're up to. You guys are just using me as bait for one of your ratty girl-chasing schemes. That's right. About time you got a hip to that. You're our sugar daddy, kid. Huh? You just want all that prize money. Everyone knows they gave you six grand. So won't you pay for tonight? It's gonna be expensive. You got the dough. Come on, you gotta play along. You're the money, kid. Yeah. Get not so no, bad. No way! I'm gonna buy my mom a massager with that money. You just keep your dirty fingers off of it. She worked so hard. Um, She's so you mean you can't go out with us tonight? Just ignore him. He's crazy. Huh? Hey, isn't that Mashiba's cute baby sister? She must be the nurse who's related to a fighter. Now I get it. Huh. <laughs> oh, so sorry. Unfortunately, Ipo already has a previous engagement tonight. Huh? What? You're going somewhere else tonight, Ipo? No, it's just... Sorry. It can't be helped. Oh, well, the rest of us can have fun. Come on, big guy. Let's go shake up the town. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh... Let's go. Let's go. A massager for your dear mother? Oh, that's so heartwarming. Oh, I'm really disappointed. Uh, now go be a sweet, considerate son to your mother, you hear? <laughs> oh, cut it out with all the horrible stories, Mr. Takamura. It's embarrassing. I can't hear ya. Hey, ladies, he's don't got a go, nuclear go, sub go, down go. here. Oh, cut out. <laughs> Oh, please! Knock it off! Nice job, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was a piece of cake. But what now? The big guy's gonna tell stupid stories all night long if we don't stop him. Excellent point. We gotta make like Noah's Ark and get paired off Prano. If one of us wants the same babe as the big guy, you know he's just gonna belittle us in front of her. Leave it to me! We'll settle this fair and square with a game of skill! Wow! It's been forever since I went bowling! So! Is it okay with you, gentlemen? We see who gets the best scores, and then we ask out the girls in that order. What are you talking about? What? You must be out of your mind. I ain't going for that. What am I hearing? The big guy chickening out? That's not the fierce competitor I know. <laughs> All right, smart guy. We'll play it your way. Excellent. Then it's settled. A fair fight amongst gentlemen. Damn. Like it's going to be fair. Now I know why he volunteered to be master of ceremonies tonight. Huh? The guy just happens to be a bowling ace. He's a local legend. In fact, his nickname is Mr. Perfect Score. He's Mr. Perfect Score? Yep, so you better stay sharp. Hey, isn't that Barkmichi in drag? Hmm? <laughs> You'll wind up pulling the old maid card from the deck. You've got to be kidding. What's your average? Nothing. I've never played before. Yes. <laughs> All right. She's so cute. I can do this! Right. Oh yeah! Yes! See? That's all there is to it! Wow, the guys are really good at this. Alright. Good luck, Yipo! I bet you could roll a strike! <laughs> How do you like them apples?
level. Damn you, big guy. Not bad for an amateur. I'm impressed. They're really getting into this. They're really going all out. Of yeah. Of course we are. Depending on how this game goes, we'll either be sent to heaven or hell. All right, I'm up next. He's the definite loser after all those gutter balls. But it's gonna be impossible to beat Aoki. I'll, I'll be, be damned, damned if, if I'm getting up second, second place. place. <laughs> Hey, look, guys, I did it! I actually managed to get my first strike! Super. That's just great. All right! Three in a row! Way to go! That's fantastic! I got the hang of it. See that? Hey, come on, get real! Don't sweat it, it's beginner's luck. Yeah! Five in a row? It's absurd! Right now, I'm way out on top. And the big guy and Kimura are both in second place with 155 points each. If Evo can knock down at least four pins in this last frame, he'll turn things around and take second. <laughs> wow, is that true? I have to do my best. Damn, I'd like to smack that smile off his face. How can he look so happy when his last throw could send us straight to hell? Okay, make it good. It's the last one. Everything's riding on this ball. <laughs> Heaven or hell, this is it. <laughs> Choke you, you idiot! idiot. Knock him down! Oh! <laughs> it's over like a house of cards! <laughs> Way to go! <laughs> so now, without further ado, I'll kick off the festivities by being the first to ask out a girl. Damn it! Which one's he asking? <laughs> Don't hit Rako. Not Megumi. Uh, are you free after this? Huh? Well, aren't you fresh, but it's kind of cute. What? what? I forgot his taste in women sucks. The game was all for nothing. Whew. Well, that was fun. See you guys later. Okay, take her right home. Bye. Mm. I'm going to see Rake go home, so you can take care of Kumi and get her home safely. Uh -huh. And get her all the way home. Oh, what are you saying? This is a rare opportunity. Hit her with your best shot. <laughs> My best shot? Well, see you at the gym tomorrow. Uh... Good night now. Uh... <laughs> She's got to be bored. I have to say something. Um. um <gasps> yes? Thank you for seeing me home. This is where I live. Oh, so this is your place. Well, well, I guess I'll see you later. <laughs> so nothing happened. <laughs> That's the way it goes. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, yeah? Um, if you'd like, you can come inside for a minute. Huh? 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 Come in? Huh? I guess it would be huh? all right. She doesn't have huh? any parents. Huh? Ryu should be getting home any second now. Couldn't you come inside long enough to say hi to him? I forgot all about him. Come on in. Well, this is a little embarrassing. But I guess I should tell you that your picture's hanging up inside. Huh? Good morning, Evo, dear. Mm. This can't be happening. It's straight out of a romantic comedy. Oh! Ryo looks at it to get himself all psyched up and ready to fight. He does, does he? <sighs> I thought he'd probably be home by now. Well, have a seat. I'll go make some coffee. Whew. Thank goodness he isn't home yet. Wait a second. That means... We're all alone! How many lumps? Huh? Oh, just one on my shoulder. <laughs> I was talking about sugar. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I sounded stupid, but I made her laugh. And wow, she's unbelievably cute when she laughs. This is a rare opportunity to hit her with your best shot. That's what he said, but... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, is something wrong? Uh, well, not really. I'm wondering, could it be that? Could it be what? Seeing my brother makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I get the feeling you're hiding something. Oh, really? I couldn't be more relaxed. Oh. Ryo, you're finally home. <coughs> <laughs> Just kidding. See, I knew it. 
Please, I'm not afraid of your brother. I guess that makes sense. You did beat him after all. True, but who knows what would happen if we fought again? His flicker jabs are really amazing. When we were competing for Rookie of the Year, I never actually found the definitive way to contain them. But I must admit, I am really looking forward to seeing how far I can go in my current condition. Oh well, I guess I'm getting a little too carried away. That's for sure. I'm sorry! I, I didn't know you were there! I'm sorry! Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't we have a go at it right now? No, no, I gotta go! Bye! Did you have to do that? He was waiting for you! It didn't look that way to me. Oh, oh, that was so scary. I really need to call it a day and get a little sleep. I'm so late, I'm gonna have to take a taxi. But where can I find one around here? Oh, thanks very much. Ah! Ah! I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't even hit her with my best shot. What the hell are you saying? Huh, I thought I'd at least just talk to you. Huh? We both got our title matches coming up soon. I'm winning mine. Win yours, too. Huh? Could he actually be encouraging me? Don't get me wrong. I just don't want anyone else having the pleasure because I want to be the one to slaughter you. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> nice talking to ya. That's right. My next fight is the title match. I need to start seriously training soon. Huh? That's great. So Reiko's gonna come see your next match? Hey, keep it down, will ya? You know how the big guy is. If he catches wind of this, he'll go nuts. I'm sorry. Well, I know I walked away last night with just a promise and a crazy dream. But after I lost the tournament and there was no more hope for a title match, it felt like my whole future was up in the air. But now that I've met Reiko, I have something to fight for. She really is incredible. I'm so glad I met her. Hmm. <laughs> How'd it go with you? Huh? Well, it went like, um... <laughs> and that's basically how it ended. <laughs> what a drag. With Mashabo around, you'll never be able to put the moves on her. Yeah, wimps. Talking trash about me. Yeah, the resemblance is scary. Huh? Some people would consider that pretty good. How'd it work out for you last night? Did you score big time? Don't ask, maggot. Aoki went and partied all night with his ugly honey. My date wanted to go home. You're kidding, aren't you? Do I look like I'm kidding? Forget about the babes. What's next on the schedule? Oh, the championship carnival. That's right. I doubt there's anyone left who can seriously take me on. But still, I'm not going to be careless. That belt is mine and no one else can touch it. Sounds like you finally feel some of the responsibility that comes with the title. Good morning there, Chief. Listen up. They finally released the schedule for the championship carnival. Middleweights at the end of January and featherweights at the middle of February. This event is important, so you'll go in and win no matter what. Yes, sir. All right. When it's over, we'll be hanging two belts from the rafters. Great. Well, I've certainly raised a fine, hard-working champion. And here's your reward. Oh, thanks a lot, Chief. That's the latest issue of Pride Day. I think you'll find something interesting in it. Ooh, Japan's sweetheart takes it all off. Hey, it really is full of interesting stuff. If you like that, the next page is really going to make your mouth water. Thanks for the thoughtful gift, you old perv. But you really shouldn't have. It's getting me excited. Oh! Is this why I'm beating my brains out? So you can act like a sex pervert? Whatever. Don't you whatever me! I'm gonna split your rock skull and two! You'll never use that cutie brain of yours anyway, you idiot! Shut up, old man! I am a champion! I couldn't cause a scandal if I wasn't famous! Huh? Sorry, but I don't want to be that kind of champion. Me neither. Come on, laugh at me! <clears throat> so what if I'm a champion, Lance? You gotta admit it's funny, so go ahead and laugh at me! Yeah, come to think of it, I wonder how Aoki's doing. Nice. Eh? Yeah, well, what about Aoki? I guess he got dumped last night and is crying like a little girl. I know, let's give him a ring and we can all laugh at him. That's not very nice. How come I gotta be the one to call him? <laughs> oh, my gosh, sorry, ma'am, wrong number. Who was that? What are you doing? Give it. I hate to say it, but the joke's gonna be on us if he's the only one who got lucky. With that ugly broad? Hey, that's sicker than striking out. Hello there! Is this Aoki? It's me! Oh, 
Hold on just a sec. Mm. Hey, honey, there's someone on the phone. He says his name is me. Come on, wake up. Let's face it, looking at the circumstantial evidence, she had to have spent the night. She spent the night? You mean she actually slept over at Aoki's? This could only mean one thing. Anyway, I think I'll start training. Uh, 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 hello? Is anybody there? Uh, uh, hey, hello? Okay, that's enough. Those are some pretty sweet moves. You're looking good out there. No, it's still not enough. I'm gonna need better punches if I'm gonna knock him down. Oh? I'll see you later. I'm gonna do a little more road work. All right. If Makanouchi were the same fighter as when I first met him, I'd be in perfectly good shape to face him right now. But he's not. He's grown. He won't fall so easily anymore. He's an entirely different boxer than the one I saw a year ago. It's hard to believe. A year has already passed. Oh, you're here! Okita, huh? I want to spar. Help me out. Uh, sure! Makanouchi is now in my world. And there's no doubt. He's my most powerful challenger ever. But that doesn't matter. I'll never give him the championship belt. Tate? You ready? He's good to go now. I will defeat Makanouchi. And when I do, that will prove to the world that I am the champion. Phew. Now I've seen everything. What's with the mask, Date? You think you're a brain surgeon? When I run wearing this, my oxygen intake is dramatically reduced, making my heart work harder. Great for increasing stamina. Makanouchi's earned a reputation as a stamina animal, in case you didn't know. We got the lightweight and the junior welder that you wanted, and they're ready to work out. Thanks. Now remember, both of them are ranked higher than you, so you may want to put on some headgear. Of course, it's up to you. <laughs> Mr. Date sure is in good condition. Yeah, you got that right, Akita, but he's not in the kind of shape he was six years ago. What are you talking about? He's got two top rankers in there that can't even touch him. You can't win against time, Akita. He's 29. He's one of the oldest ranked fighters out there, and naturally, he's starting to slow down. Yeah, you think so? But I can really see this upcoming fight's got him motivated. He's already starting to look like he did in his prime. You can see he's very focused on getting back into peak condition. Oh, yeah? Is he going to get back in shape? He will. You think so? He's still got it in him. <gasps> yeah. Then I feel sorry for Makanauchi. <sighs> that poor little guy's not gonna know what hit him. Guess I'm not the only one who's fired up. Huh? <laughs> not really. I'm just hitting the bag at random. Oh, one thing. I was wondering if I could come by your place today. What? Right now, I only have his comeback video at my house. But Mr. Date retired six years ago, didn't he? Yeah. You want to watch Methuselah getting his ass kicked going for the world title? Yeah. I'm sorry to bother you. You've got your own match to worry about. Don't sweat it, it doesn't bother me. I'm pretty sure the title match took place in the winter. Winter? That would mean it would be in the December or January edition. Oh, here, Mr. Date's in this issue. Wow, it's from when he first became the Japanese champion. He looks so young, and he doesn't have a mustache or the scar. Oh, wait! I found it! <gasps> hmm? This can't be! I wouldn't believe it if you told me. How could he have lost by TKO in just two rounds? You could say he had rotten luck facing such a stone-cold killer. 
That champion's an unholy monster who still has no losses in consecutive defense matches. But way back in those reckless days, I doubt the old guy thought he would find the champ a challenge. He was titled Unmatched in Asia, and he flourished in Mexico for a while. But in the end, for all his trouble, he got nothing but four minutes in the ring and a face full of dripping blood. I'm sure it came as a big blow. About four years after that match, A.G. Date didn't even go anywhere near a boxing ring. So, was I able to cheer you up a little? Not really. I'm kind of shocked by this. Mr. Date's so strong, it's hard for me to believe that he could be KO'd in less than two rounds. Well, consider yourself lucky, see? If he made a quick comeback six years ago, he could be wearing the world belt around his waist right now and he'd be that much harder to beat. He certainly had the ability and talent to pull it off. You think maybe he's in decline? You know, spring chicken at 29. Age is always a losing fight. I never thought of it like that. Maybe you're right. Mmm. That's exactly why this whole thing scares me. How are you gonna fight him? Mr. Date doesn't have any weak points, so there's no use in coming up with a plan against him. But... I've come this far because the title match was my goal. To win, I have to use everything I've learned. I am the challenger, after all. Ugh, it's cold! Huh? You still here, Date? Hey, I'm closing up. Oh, right. But it is kind of nippy out there, and when it's hard to sweat, it's going to be hard for you to lose all that weight. We left in the huh? dead of winter. And when we arrived, it was the heat of summer. Mexico, huh? I guess it's hard to forget right around this time of year. I don't want to think about it. But when it gets cold, it starts to sting. The carved mark on my nose stings. And it always forces me to remember. Remember the day I lost everything. Dante, how's that mask working out for you? Tough going. But the air is thin in Mexico, so I'm gonna have to suck it up and whip my heart into shape as soon as possible. While we're on the subject, you didn't happen to see a phone around here, did you? Not again, Dante. You just talked to her a little while ago. They're all gonna say you're soft when they find out you can't train without talking to your wife. Oh, shut up. You know how easy it is for her to get sick. But now, with our baby on the way, I think I have a right to worry. It's hard to make a living just being the Japanese title holder. Your wife takes it all in stride, though, in spite being from a rich family. She's a trooper. She had to put up with a lot to be with me. You know your wife believes in you, but she also loves you. If you take the world title, you'll be able to give her a better life, and you'll be able to welcome your child into the world with pride. Yeah, with pride. It wasn't a blessed marriage. But if I win, everyone will accept us. When I get the world title, her parents will approve too. I swear that I will become the world champion. This is huge! We're surrounded by the enemy! I wish you'd calm down, little boss. What's that? You're getting carried away by the moment. Date, this is your first world title match, and you're acting like it's a Sunday picnic! When it was time to leave Japan, I made a call to Aiko. Yeah? I was sure she was gonna tell me to win no matter what. But all she said was no matter if I win or lose to come home safely. That belt. I'm gonna bring it back if it kills me.
The bones in your nose are gonna knit, but it'll probably leave a scar. All the same, that was one hell of a combination. Cheer up, Date. You've got a lot of fights left in you. You're young enough to bounce back. I promise you, you'll get another chance. That title fight ended before he could do anything. That's the worst way to lose. In shock. I go, huh? I'm absolutely dying to see her right now. Yeah, that's it. She'll be able to cheer you up in no time. She's become anemic from overwork. She passed out on the stairs and took a pretty hard tumble. We were able to save her, but... I'm afraid the child was lost. Why didn't you contact me? She specifically requested that you not be contacted until you return. I'm sorry. Yuji, what are you still doing up? He did his best to stay awake until Daddy got home. <laughs> you little rascal. All right, I'll make an exception and read you a bedtime story. Whew, he's finally asleep. That's great. I'm proud of you. Good news. I went ahead and checked into it. Looks like the promotion's a sure thing. They told me it's the fastest promotion in the history of the company. Guess being a salaried man's got its little perks, huh? What's wrong? I really thought that you'd be happy for me. No, I am happy. It's really wonderful, sweetie. Yeah. Good. <sighs> it's that dream again. I wear the world championship belt. And I proudly raise my child into the air for all to see. But it's not Yuji. It's the child that was never born. Huh? Now that's unusual. You almost never drink. Yeah. I woke up and I'm trying to relax. How about one for you? Haven't done this for a while. It really reminds me of our old times together. Remember, we'd share a drink together every time you want to fight. Yeah. We had a lot of fun then. Those were some good times. Well, what about now? Hmm. Well, I'm happy. And I've noticed you've started to smile a lot more lately. That's true. We'll see you later, hon. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm happy. I'm glad. And this is good enough. AG, the promotion's a done deal. They might even announce it as early as tomorrow. Thank you so much. I've been depending upon you a lot lately. I'll admit that at first, I wasn't so sure that a fighter could make a good living in an office job, you know? But you worked hard. Your reputation in the company is great. And above all, you've been a very good husband to my sister. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with making a living at fighting. But in the end, it's just not stable enough. When you got a family to support, you gotta play it safe and cover all your bases. You're right. What's wrong? Nothing. I guess I'm just a little more drunk than I thought. Everything's going good since I retired. I live a peaceful life with a beautiful family. And why do I feel like this? Welcome back, hon. You're home awfully late. Get me some water.
What are you doing? Throwing them out. Throwing them out? But why? You won them. They're important to you, aren't they? I no longer need them. I don't want them around anymore. No, don't. Please don't throw them away. Yeah, why not? You may not think you want to have them around, but I do. They're important memories for all of us. That's exactly why we don't need them. Why do you need trophies around when I'm always going to be with you? Always? Promise? Yeah, that's right. I'm here with you and you're happy. That's what you said. Sweetie, haven't you realized by now? Huh? You haven't really been here at all since you came back from Mexico over three years ago. <sighs> You got a new job, and you've worked incredibly hard for us. We have Yuji, and our lives have been peaceful, and wonderful, and happy. But, Eiji? You haven't really been here. You were always so full of confidence and energy before you left, but that part of you stayed in Mexico and has never returned. But, I go away. Is this the life that you want? Do you really want all the years to drift away and have everyone you know slowly forget that you were ever a boxer? It's not right that you should do this to yourself. You can't go on living your life and pretend that you've given up on your dream. What I have is good enough. Is it good enough to have our only child grow up and never know who his father really is? <gasps> you mean the man I was? Who I really am? Yes, it's still possible for you to show him. Do it for your wife. And for Yuji. And for the child that never was. <sighs> 26 years old, huh? I might still have a chance. What are you telling me? That's crazy! You're right, it's crazy, I know. Just the same. Thanks for everything. Just wait a minute. Does Iko know about this? AG! <laughs> Great ability. Then one loss and he's off like a dirty shirt. Isn't there anybody in the fight world left with some backbone? Huh? Dante. Hello, boss. I'm gonna need your help again. What are you talking about? I need your help so I can be myself. I'm making a comeback. He has reclaimed the Japanese title! Just two matches since his return to boxing, the great A.G. Dante is back and in full force! That boy is a really strong boxer. You mean you can tell? Well, sure, after having to watch him every night. And he's 19. That's so young to be going after the title. He's got power. And it could get messy real quick if he pushes me back by force. We got a call from Mr. Nakadai the other day. He wanted you to consider going to the training camp. Yeah, I figured he would, but I'm probably going to turn him down. He says that physical strength will be the key to this fight, and that your gym work alone won't necessarily do the trick. I don't need to go. You don't want to go because you're afraid to leave us alone. But things are not the same as before. Yuji is growing up very healthy, and I'm feeling better than ever. Still. Go on, go to training camp, sweetie. When you get back, I promise you that nothing will be missing. Everything will be the way you left it. I heard the same thing, is it true? Beats me. We'll find out in a little bit. Sorry, champ, you're over the limit. 
How can he be overweight? He was losing weight the whole time that he was at training camp, wasn't he? It's very hard to sweat in the winter. Takamura worked pretty hard, but he still couldn't get his weight completely under control. I got three hours till the next weigh-in, right? Huh. <laughs> 200 grams? That's not even half a pound. <sighs> Don't worry about me. 200 grams ain't nothing to sweat about. Nothing to sweat? Who's he kidding? He's got to be straining to stay middleweight, coming in as a heavyweight, especially in the winter. Think about it, Epo. Have you ever looked at the ranking structure and thought it was kind of ridiculous? Huh? You can have first ranking and still not be the champ. You figure first ranking you're number one, right? But you're not. You know what that's all about? Never really stopped to think about it. It's all in the word. Being champion means you're the best out there. You're the king. Everybody knows you're extraordinary. No matter how bad a champ's condition is when he steps in that ring, he has all of his natural abilities at his command. You watch my match tonight. You keep those eyes peeled. You're gonna see the power of the king in action. I will. The king is something special. Oh, what happened? You all right? You passed the weigh-in by the skin of your teeth. When you're warming up, take it easy. Save your strength. It's time, <laughs> champ. Go on now and have a great fight. Got it. <sighs> Mr. Takamura! I came here to give him some support. I have a feeling that the match is going to be a lot tougher than he realizes. He'll be fine. Mr. Takamura has enough talent and strength to take on anybody. He said that all champions have supernatural abilities. Supernatural abilities. Well, if that's the case, then there's no doubt he'll win. <laughs> you have to be a champion to understand the truth behind those words. When he fights tonight, his punches will be heavy. And he'll never fall no matter how much he has to take. The same thing will hold true for you and me in the title match. The truth is, Ebo, your fists are light. You're gonna need more than that to defeat me. What? My fists are light? Oh. Hey guys, did I miss anything? Oh. Oh. Son of a... Takamura takes another hit! He's not packing his usual heat! He's taking full-on punches from the challenger! Oh no! Damn, the big guy's totally off his game out there! But that's what happens when you starve yourself before a fight! A right uppercut from Tamaki! He's getting pounded! He's gonna lose if he doesn't fight back! <laughs> the champion is on the run! What the hell's happening to him? I've never seen him back off like that! He wouldn't allow himself to look that bad if he wasn't feeling a hell of a lot worse. Another right from the challenger! Takamura blocks! Wow, they both hit with the same kind of power. There's no way he's gonna be able to take all that head on. He picks away at his opponent with a series of jabs! He's starting to let his left guard drop! He's getting careless! He's getting killed! That belt is mine! Ah. Direct hit! The champion's head is twisted back! Stay up! Come on! <laughs> Tall, his feet braced apart, ready for anything! <sighs> and there's the bell! Round one ends with the challenger on top, with a surprising lead on Takamura. If the champion turns this match around, he could make a new record. Twelve consecutive KO victories since his debut as a middleweight. But it's not looking too good for the champ. Records aside, he's got to be more worried about holding on to the title. First round and he's already breathing hard. He's hurting bad. I'm not sure he'll be able to win this one. Don't be a wuss. Doesn't matter if he's battered and half blind. He's going to win this match. The big guy doesn't lose. That's the whole point. That's what makes him great. Yeah, right. He's going to win for sure. Yeah, right. You're getting nailed pretty hard. Don't worry about me. Did you take a look at that guy? There's no way I'll lose to anyone that butt ugly. Mr. Takamura, you can do it! Huh? 
You gotta fight to win! Rip his head Take off. him down! Can somebody tell the Three Stooges to put you a cork in it? All this drama's kind of embarrassing. You can do it, Takamura! Go! <sighs> it's time for Toxilla to make an appearance. Listen, there's nothing left to say about strategy, but I don't think that's what you need. Cornerman out! All right. Just listen till I'm through talking, all right? I know what you want to say. Round two! <laughs> he looks determined! <laughs> he throws his body into him! Uh, but look at that! He's been pushed back instead! Uh, Takamura has butted heads with the wrong bull! Your strength has bottomed out to nothing! <laughs> Tamaki's got him on the ropes and is hammering away! The title is within his reach! He's gotta get out! That's insane! He can't move! The champion's a sitting duck for one brutal blow after another! You're going down. I don't care if your dragon ass or fresh as a newborn baby. No matter how powerful everyone thinks you are, I'm knocking you down. One more. There's no sign of defeat in those eyes. Haven't my punches done anything to him? Or is this some kind of a setup? Snap out of it! Keep going! Don't stop! Don't stop! <sighs> Whoa! My brain just took a holiday. Why didn't that bastard nail me while he had the chance? <sighs> Aha! You chickened out, didn't you? What happened, tough guy? What's this? The champ is egging him on! <clears throat> He's frozen like a deer in the headlights! The fate with the eyes, good job! Now you got him thinking about it! He's bluffing. There's no way he's not hurting right now. Just one more flurry and it's over. It's over! I was right. He's in real bad shape. Can't even throw a punch. Don't give up! Keep lashing out! What's he doing? Throw your right! Another hit! And another! Can this be it for the champ? <sighs> he tumbles towards the mess! Mr. Takamura! Don't you remember what you told me? All champions have a special power! If that's true, then show me now! SHOW ME YOUR POWER! <laughs> Here it comes! Takamura lands a blow! Tamaki shrugs it off like it never happened! A little hesitation went a long way. This could be it. He got me good, but it shouldn't matter. I've been tearing into him this whole fight. My legs! Takamura! I gotta set an example for all the small fry in the peanut gallery. They want to be great like me. I can't let them down. I'm putting a dent in him. He's gotta be in pain. I trained too hard for him to still be standing. He's just another fighter like me, and I know I can defeat him. Oh! I have the power and the will to stay the champion, but it's not going to be easy. My fists will protect my title and smash this pretender into pulp. You don't know how determined I am, kid. You can never be like me. He did it again! The match is over! He did it! Oh, I never doubted him for even a second! I did, he was very scary! For the third time, Takamura has successfully defended his title with a KO! 
And now, for a few words with the winner and still champion, Takamura. Great job out there, but was this one of your tougher defense matches? Maybe he'll explain to her about the power of the king. And all those things he was telling me about. Tough? I've broken a bigger sweat playing checkers. I just cut him a little slack to make a better show for everybody. What do you say, people? You have fun or what? <clears throat> You're not fooling anyone! We heard you screwed up your weight because you were too damn busy chasing chicks to stick to your diet! He'll never get a chance to say something meaningful. Well, you know the thing about being the champion. He's gonna say it! Hey there, girl! He's got his eye on you! Don't think he won't make a play for you right there in the ring! If you're lucky, you might have a chance to escape after he gets knocked out! Ah, they're only kidding. Mm. Are you jokers trying to tell me I'm not popular with the ladies? You see that? She's just happy to be near me! Shut up! I wrote the book on how a champion is supposed to behave! This is horrible! Just stay low or we might get out of this alive! Man, I'm full. That blowfish Yagi brought to my victory party with some good eats. Still, what were you guys thinking with all that cheering crap? You didn't believe that I could lose, did you? Well, it did seem possible. I already told you. Tonight you were gonna see the power of the king. You really did show me something that only champions have. Mm. Do you think my fists are too light? Uh. That's what Mr. Date told me. I thought he was trying to get a rise out of me. But I really paid attention to your defense match. And you're right, I realized there's a huge difference between the champion and the challenger. And that's why you're kicking ass with ten consecutive knockouts. I can't afford to fool myself. He's not the kind of fighter I could ever knock down with a light punch. You have power in your punches. More than Date does. Then what is it? He didn't mean light the way you thought he did. How then? Take a look at tonight's match. If it wasn't for the challenger pushing me with all he had, my punches would have actually been a little lighter. There are all sorts of advantages that come with being champion. Every time you go into the ring, your challengers have expectations. Every time they dream of beating you and they look up to you in some way. All of their emotion goes straight into your fist. Emotion? See what I mean? All those feelings weigh a champion's fist down every time he fights. Which means that old man Date's fist gotta be two cinder blocks by now. His fist did feel heavy to me. Filled with the hopes and dreams and fears of everyone that he ever fought. The only thing driving me right now is that I love boxing. But that's it. What kind of mindset do I have to take to the ring when I finally face the champion? Yes, hello? He just lost. What do you mean? Who lost? You sound pretty upset. Yeah, I'm upset because the lightweight champion just lost his belt. Who's holding the title? None other than Mashiba. Oh, Mashiba won? That's great. Good for him. Are you crazy? <laughs> it's bad enough I had to lose, but now I have to make a goal of fighting someone who's not even part of the human race. He's all right. You wouldn't say that if you saw his face when he won. <laughs> No. If I gotta fight that maniac, I better go get to work now. Later. So, Mashiba has become a champion. I should talk to him about his whole attitude during the fight, and find out if the champion's fist felt heavy. Yes, hello? Hello, how are you? It's Mashiba. Ah! Kumi Mashiba, you remember? Oh, of course. How are you? It's been a while. I'm great. My brother had his big match today. Yeah, I know. I just heard he won the title. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm so proud of him. But that's why I called. I went ahead and planned a celebration for him. But he doesn't have any friends, so nobody's coming over. It's just not much of a party, you know? Could you come over? I'm sure he'll be happy to see you. Hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, I have to keep it together. I've got to remember to ask him about his take on the title fight. Is anybody there? Oh. Um, hello? You there? It's me, Makinouchi. Come in. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll just come on in then, if it's okay with you. It's pitch black. I can't see anything. Uh, he still has my picture nailed up on the wall. I get it. It's like one of those surprise parties, right? Sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So, know where Kumi is? Out. Oh, yes. I see. She coming back soon? Yeah, when she's done buying something. Oh, I see. She's shopping. <laughs> I want to congratulate you on your big win today. You should be proud of yourself. You really earned it. So how'd it go out there during the fight? What'd you think of your opponent? I heard that he was tough. It couldn't have been too easy. What round did he finally go down, huh? I really hope she gets home soon. The seventh round. Huh? Wow, KO in the seventh round. That's a great fight. But the champion must have really been something lasting as long as he did. I mean, the fact that he went seven rounds against you after you upped your weight class is pretty impressive. And I wondered, is there something special about a champion? Like their style, or their strength, or maybe there's something about their fists that's different. It's nothing, really. So there's no difference? I fought him the way I would anybody else. Longer than usual, perhaps. He just wouldn't quit, so I had to make it ugly. <laughs> His title match, and it was all the same? I guess the strongest don't always agree. Huh? What are you doing? Why is it so dark in here? Hello, Ippo. Thanks for coming. Thank you for inviting me. I know it's last minute, but everyone at his work was saying that they'd have a party for him in a few days. But I thought that to do it right, we should have one on the same day. Don't you think so? No, you're right. The same day is usually the best time for the victory party. And it's not like he's suffering from fight fatigue. <sighs> That's not the face of someone who had an easy fight. Those 21 minutes he spent fighting were nothing less than a death match. That's the face of someone who fought desperately with everything he had. He put his life on the line for that belt. Hello in there. Huh? Okay, let's have a great time tonight. Uh, put this on if you're not too embarrassed. Congratulations on becoming champion. Congratulations, you did great. No, he's not into this. He probably hates it. The fight was so terrifying. <laughs> I had to leave before it was all over. That champ had already defended his title in five earlier matches. But he got him in the seventh. That was some great boxing. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to the party. You're welcome. But I was really starting to think that I was bringing him down or something. That's not true at all. I could tell you were making him happy. Did you happen to notice those tiny wrinkles that he was getting between his eyebrows? He only gets those when he's trying not to laugh. I haven't seen those wrinkles there in a long time. That's how he looks when he's happy? It must be nice to have a sibling. I would love to have someone who cared enough about me to throw a victory party and celebrate my fights. But unfortunately, I was an only child. Well, your title match is coming up pretty soon, isn't it? Yes, it is. I wanted to thank you for coming by today, so I'm going to throw you a party too, and that way we can celebrate together. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe how cute she looked just now. That's nice, but we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves. I mean, I don't even know if I'll win. 
It really wasn't much different for my brother. He didn't let on, but I could tell he was nervous before the match. But he did tell me that he would try as hard as he always did, and he left the house this morning as though it were any other day. Oh. You know, I'm not even sure that I'm making any sense. <laughs> Like any other day, huh? That's probably a great way to look at it. If you put everything you can into everything you do, your best comes naturally. Doesn't matter who I'm up against, it'll be a good fight. It'll be a fight that I can be proud of. But it's just another fight. That's all there is to it. Thanks for coming with me. I'm gonna run the rest of the way. <laughs> Wait a minute, Ippo! I'll give it everything I've got! All right, kid. You ready? Yes! An all-around champion versus challenger with great potential. <laughs> Makano Uchi's liver blow is key. But only if he gets to throw it. If he goes for the liver blow, he'll leave himself wide open. And Date will know, because he's waiting to throw his killer punch. He'll throw a heartbreaker the first chance he gets. And even if Ippo dodges the blow, he'll be too curled up to throw the left. All right, jump now, kid! Always stay close enough to take it into a clinch. He needs distance to throw a corkscrew punch, kid. That's the way. Stay close and you'll have nothing to worry about. Yes, sir. All right, now, keep sparring. The Chief's always one step ahead. He knows the left won't be able to punch, so he'll block with the left, and he'll stay close enough to smother the corkscrew. He's a sly old fox, but that means Zippo's punching power will be cut in half. There's practically no openings to throw a decent punch. Huh? Fellas, that's enough for now. I didn't see that coming. But now that I think of it, there was a champion that claimed that a fist 10 centimeters away from its target could knock a man down. At that range, you'd have to concentrate all your strength into your fist. And Makino Uchi sure has a lot of strength to pull from. I wouldn't miss this match for anything. Mr. Takamura defended his title. And Mashiba took his. And soon, it'll be my turn. Alright, keep your distance. Give me one more like that. <laughs> Go on, hit me! Oh, I'm sorry. You all right, Chief? Don't sweat it, kid. That's it for today. What? I was just getting my rhythm going. Go home. You got the fight tomorrow. You want to be half dead when you go after Dante? Get your butt home and relax. That's an order. Yes, sir. Thank you. I'll do that. Well, working hard as usual. Huh? Good afternoon, Epo, dear. I remember you. You're a nurse, right? Her name's Tomiko. <laughs> she just wouldn't let up for a second till I showed her the gym. Oh, you. You practically dragged me here, honey bear. Honey bear? Because you're so sweet. You're the sweet. Well, I, uh... I could dip you in tea Gotta be and going. It was up. nice to see you're you, You're kind uh... of sweet could fill up a whole candy store. Epo, after you hit the showers, come to the back room. Why? What's in the back room? It's just the coolest thing you ever saw in your whole life. Fortune telling? You said this was gonna be cool, but it's the same old crap. I'm missing cartoons for this? Hmm? Huh? Oh, so you're gonna be the one reading the cards? You have got to be kidding. Has she ever got this right? <laughs> She's no run-of-the-mill fortune cookie. Her predictions are so on target, they're downright scary. You can practically set your watch by them. Uh, what are you saying? You think that she can actually tell my future? For starters. Wait till she gets on a roll. What? She doesn't have to do this. I'm telling you, it's all right, buddy. She's never wrong. Then I really don't want to know. It's just that with the big match coming up, I wouldn't want to know anything that might jinx me. 
so I really appreciate the... <laughs> Suddenly, I'm glad I came. Yeah, go ahead. Epo wants to find out. He just doesn't know it yet. No, I don't. Really. Let's get started. Hey, you got some real tarot cards. Now that's a class act. It's just one card and it's already pretty creepy. Shh. Tamiko's ability requires complete silence while she concentrates on her sixth sense. Please be quiet so she can work. Oh, wow, that's impressive. I don't care if she gets it right. I'm just ready to laugh either way. I have it. <sighs> the tarot cards say that Epo's fortune for tomorrow is... What in blazes are you morons <laughs> doing? <laughs> Are you idiots actually trying to jinx the fight one night before the championship match? I'm sorry! See y'all later. All right. Knock him dead. We'll be cheering you on the whole time. Thanks, guys. Well, he sure is a lot more relaxed than I thought he would be. Man, they're the only boxer stupid enough to consult a psychic about an upcoming fight. It's a lot better than being so nervous that you can't deliver your best when it's actually time to fight. I think it's really great that they enjoy boxing so much. It's their biggest advantage when it comes to stepping in that ring. Yeah, when they have fun, they make it easy for me to relax. It's hard to believe that kid's already facing his title match. He has come a long way. But the strange thing is he hasn't really changed since we met him. He's the same cheerful kid who joined our gym only a few years ago. He's just gotten a lot stronger since then. Every time he has a fight, it tears me up inside. Being his coach has never been easy, I'll tell you. He sure got a lot of talent, but he's also needed a lot more guidance than most of my fighters. This next match is gonna age me about ten years. <laughs> I know he's a lot of work, but he's always lived up to your expectations, Chief. The best we can do now is believe in him, that he'll win. We have to believe that he'll become the next champion. For some strange reason, all that craziness today helped me relax. <sighs> the same day I ate hamburgers with Yamada, that was when I sparred against Mr. Date. I was practically useless against him. In just one match, he was able to knock me down six times. <sighs> he's probably a lot stronger now than he was back then, but he's not the only one. We'll find out just how far I've come since then. I'm going to the limit, and I'm hitting him with everything I got! What do you think, Doc? Hmm... They've dropped. I had a feeling they would. No, it's amazing. Your results are practically identical to when you took on the world title match six years ago. I can't begin to guess how you maintain such a high level of physical strength. In fact, it's increased, and you still have perfect eyesight. The truth is, your optic reflexes are firing faster than average. I don't have to tell you how important that is for a boxer. All in all, you're in the best condition of your life. So much so, I pity the poor fighter who's got to face you tomorrow. Pity? Is he trying to be funny? Makanouchi is the one that's still young. He's still got time to bounce back from one or two upsets. But time's running out for me. And there's no sense boxing anymore if I can't make it to the world title. I decided a long time ago that if I lose, I retire. I've got no choice but to grind you into dust, Makanouchi. I'm home! I passed the first way in no problem. Huh? Oh, did she go to work already? Fried pork chops and red snapper. The same thing she made for me when I had my first fight. Thank you for the food. It's already been two years since then. Sometimes I can't believe that I got this far. I was always being bullied. And Mr. Takamura saved me. It all started with ten leaves.
All right, it's time. Time for me to go up against the strongest fighter in Japan. So this is where Makanouchi goes to work. Hey there, Teach. Quit standing around like some kind of funeral director and get in line. Can you believe how many of us showed up? This is like a class reunion. He's a real draw, apparently. It's an amazing turnout. You think all these people came here to see Makino Uchi? This is bigger than all of us. You really think he could do it? You guys are ridiculous! Why, well, you bunch of whiners, what good does it do anybody to be negative when Ipos fight for the championship title is at stake? Attention, everyone from third year class! This is gonna be an important match! Everyone cheer really loud! Yeah! yeah! Must have gotten cold out. The old wound is really hurting. And when it's all over, you're gonna know how it feels. Excuse me, Makanochi, we're ready for you out there. Get ready, kid. Right. And here is, in the blue corner, the challenger, Ipo Makanouchi! Hey, there's Ipo! Yeah! A very warm welcome of thunderous applause, the second Makanouchi came into view. He slowly makes his way toward the ring. And now, entering the ring, in the red corner, the champion, Eiji Kata! Tremendous cheering for the champion as well. He strides toward the ring like a wartime general, surveying his troops, calm and collected as they come. The Champion Carnival Japan Featherweight Class title match of 10 rounds is about to begin. In the red corner, from Nakadai Jim, Weighing 125 and a quarter pounds, the current featherweight champion of Japan, Eiji Date! And here in the blue corner, from Kamagawa Jim, weighing 124 and one half pounds, ranked number one in the Japan featherweight class, Ippo Makana Uchi! Now it's finally time for the hottest match in the Champion Carnival, the Japanese featherweight title match! Will Date once again prove himself the strongest fighter? Or will Makanuchi rise to the top? And the first round begins now! Makanuchi weaves and steadily approaches his opponent. The champ, meanwhile, holds his ground and prepares to counterattack. Both fighters are now within the striking zone. He hammered me when we sparred. Will it be different in a real fight? He's got his left folded up close against him. Might be trying to prevent a corkscrew. Well, let's see how he's improved since our sparring match. Gonna have to feel it out with my fists. <laughs> He's fast. No wasted movement in his punch. And the way he stepped in, he challenged me to an exchange. He's fast. He already stepped in. That was perfect. His dodging momentum fed directly into his attack. Damn. That right was a warning shot. He's letting me know exactly how much he's changed. How about that? The kid's got a clever way of speaking with his fists. Attack! You gotta hit him first! All right, here it comes. Throw your left and get out! Don't trade hits with him! If the challenger wants to go blow for blow, I gotta let him have it. <laughs> These scrapes aren't gonna put him down. 
Epo's doing good. Won't be easy for the old guy to fight his way out of this one. If he keeps it tight, Dante won't be able to throw a corkscrew or anything else that draws a lot of power. He's too close to throw a corkscrew. I'll use a combination. His combos are coming even faster. It's too fast. He's going to have to do more if he wants to avoid those punches. He's got a lot of nerve coming in low. Show your face. An uppercut. Uh, miss me. Oh no. Left my liver open. I can't block it. I'll never make it in time. Ah, uh, screw it. I'll take the punch. Your face is wide open. He locked onto me as soon as I came out of the punch. I gotta bear down. You didn't think I took that punch for nothing, did you? Look at that! He doesn't flinch! He charges forward and goes in for the kill! He's a worthy challenger! You got him scared! Keep moving, Epo! Don't let up for anything! Umazawa, must you shout? What? I'm trying to watch the fight! The champion's powerful. Of course he is, Einstein! That's why he's the champion! You can do it, Epo! I can't believe how bold he is in the ring. He's nothing like the timid student I once knew. Keep going. You can do it. His fighting spirit is coming through. He's young and he fears nothing. He's an absolute nightmare. All the same, I bet you ten to one. You won't see this coming. A right hook. I gotta block it. <sighs> What's this? The challenger looks stunned! What's wrong? He didn't get hit in the temple! He hit him under the ear! Huh? I'll bet that punch knocked his equilibrium off! Dante hits him with a combo! I got a guard! You rushed it! I can break that easy! The tables have turned! Dante takes the offensive and Makanoji is like a sitting duck! No! It's too much! I gotta force him back! A left from Dante renders the challenger dead on his feet! Might as well finish it now. No! He's getting ready to launch a big one! Corkscrew! Damn it! He almost had me! I can't let him keep his distance! I gotta stick close to him, it's the only chance I got! He pushes into the champion to prevent further attack! I should have waited before I threw that corkscrew. Gotta break him down even further before I knock him out. What are you thinking? You're gonna try to punch from there? You're too close, there's nothing to punch! What the? The challenger scores a hit at point-blank range! Dante stumbles back! All right! Keep them coming, Epo! <clears throat> that was a solid punch. I'm getting my rhythm back. <sighs> How did he do that? You can't get any power when you're that extended. Another reversal! He's got the champ up against the ropes! Keep going, <laughs> Epo! You got him on the ropes! Knock him out! Oh, man. I can't use clinches if he's gonna bring out the big guns. So instead, we'll have to duke it out. It's a rope side exchange of hits with both fighters throwing a furious barrage at one another. It's a full-fledged melee! The challenger advances upon the champ like an unstoppable machine! A grueling first round. Most fighters appear only to be interested in a knockout. The current point total from the judges is 10 to 10. It's still anyone's fight. All right, good show. You're moving forward like a hungry animal, and you're doing exactly what a challenger should. How do you feel? Any damage? Uh -uh, I feel good. The real challenge so far is to keep up with him. Yes. He's doing a damn good job of keeping you from throwing your best punch. And in light of the fact that you're a lot stronger than he is, Dante is still going at you with all his steam. He's proud, and his boxing is smart and gutsy. It's impressive. He's one hell of a boxer. He's very strong. 
and I can't even begin to figure out where the next punch is coming from. I hit him with power, and he comes right back at me with precision. It's just now starting to feel real to me. I'm in a fight against the champion. <sighs> you know what? All those body blows really hurt. A few more like that, and the whole arena will find out what I had for lunch. He was always good, but he didn't have a close quarter punch way back when I fought him. I'd venture a guess that he's even improved since his last fight with Vord. He sure did surpass my expectations. I couldn't let go of the image of the green rookie who agreed to spar with me. I'm gonna have to reassess. Because the kid I see in the blue corner has now turned into the most powerful challenger I've ever fought. Tournament out! Look at that. That's the face of a guy who's ready to rumble. An opponent like that, you hit him with left hooks until they start to spin. Now box! I can't give them a reason to doubt me. If I can't take him out, how am I going to take the world on? Just into round two, the fighters plant their feet and continue to trade blows. The champ widens his stance to intercept, and Makanuji returns the favor! They're really starting to tear into each other. Of course they are. At this rate, they know either one could fall at any time. That's right, but they're in Ippo's range. The longer they keep duking it out, the more likely Ippo will come out on top. I know how it is, old guy. You want to pin down the challenger and retain the title of Japanese champion. But you should know, too much greed will make you see stars. Ah! The balance of power is falling apart! Close range fighting is to Makanuchi's advantage! <sighs> my blocking's starting to slow down. Now's my chance. I'll dive in and cut deep in one solid movement. <clears throat> Another liver blow? A fate. And I totally fell for it. This is it. A strong right from below. <clears throat> All right! Ngate is knocked off his stance! Huh? Makanuji charges inside! He's got the champ cornered! He gets in three solid blows! Another clean hit! And that's another round! It was a fast three minutes of offense and defense! This time, Makanuchi scores the most hits. He takes a slight lead of 10 to 9. Round 2 goes to the challenger. Another 10 seconds and you could have had him. I'm sure it's having an effect on him. You'll get him in the next round. Huh? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? It's not having an effect. Run that by me again. He's not reacting. And I hit him really hard just then. But it didn't phase him at all. It didn't do anything! It's gonna take a lot more for me to beat him. I'm definitely connecting my punches, but something's wrong. With everyone else I fought, I'd feel the impact in my shoulders. It's not the same with him. Is that what you're worried about? From where I was sitting, Dante's head was twisted way back. You're scoring hits out there, don't sweat it. Listen, kid, I think you're just a little too caught up in the action to really know what's going on. All right. You gotta believe in yourself. In this match, you're clearly in the lead. You're getting through to him. Just keep doing what you're doing, all right? Yes, sir. Say it like you mean it. Yes, sir. Now stay close and jab him, understand? Yes, sir. That was embarrassing. It must have looked to everyone like I was saved by the bell. But damn, he's a hard nut to crack at close range. Mr. Date, try to back off of him for the next round and rest up. At least until the odds are in your favor. You're not going to get anywhere staying in his range like that. You gotta go back to your own style of boxing, Mr. Date. Huh? What is it? This is also my kind of boxing. I bet we'll be seeing a lot more footwork from the champ this next round. That last punch really got him good. Well, I don't know. So far, Ippo's stepping in even faster than usual. Even with footwork, the champ's gonna end up taking a pounding. From the looks of it, he's going to be up against the wall no matter what he does. It's starting to look more like it could happen. That belt's within reach. Huh. You really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? That's not just any old guy he's fighting. 
That guy's the champ. Hmm. All the same, his strategy shot to hell. How you gonna pull yourself out of this one, you old geezer? Tournament out! And now round three begins. Will the champ be able to shake off the damage he got in that last round? It's looking good for the challenger. This could be the round he makes it all happen. He's really doing it. He might just be able to get him in this next round. Nah. Ippo's got his work cut out for him. That champ's no walk in the park. You got him, Ippo. Just finish the job. If I could make him retreat, I'd get my big chance. I'll just keep pushing no matter what. <sighs> What's this? The champ makes a surprise lunge forward. Take him out. All right. It swings through thin air. And it's another rapid exchange of punches. Hey, please, you gotta say something to him. He's starting to lose his cool out there. <laughs> Damn it. He's got the rhythm down cold. A hit! Makanuchi gets tagged by a left! You may be fast, but you're not putting Epo down with a light punch. Stretch your stuff, champ. But keep this up and you'll end up just another old guy in boxing gloves. The champ takes a chop to his liver! He charges into the champ like an unstoppable beast, relentlessly hammering at his guard with inhuman strength! Hit lower! Go for his gut to lower his guard! Now! It happened again! No feeling in the impact! Why doesn't it hurt him? Why? I don't get it! That's it! He twisted his neck! He's twisting his own neck to absorb the punch. That explains the huge twist! He's doing it himself! In the middle of that close-range fight, he took the kid's power blow! Hm. He smothered that punch! It's not working! He has no damage! No! Keep fighting! <clears throat> he is down! He is down! Makanouchi's glove is on the mat! Barely holding him up! One! Two! Three! One! I didn't expect that. He can smother punches by twisting his neck. I didn't think that was possible. The more I fight him, the more I understand why he's the champion. Even the way he's calmly looking down at me from his neutral corner. Nobody could pull off that look better than him. Five! <laughs> Six! Huh? I'm fine, I can go on. Why do I admire him so much? I'm the one he's looking down on. He's gonna be alright, isn't he? It's only a flash down. He's not really hurting. Hey, kid. Flash down's nothing to worry about. Have faith in yourself. You gotta hit this guy. All the technique in the world won't matter as long as you throw more punches than he can handle. Right. Yeah, he's back in the game. You got it, bro. Just lay into him. That knockdown's got the whole crowd on the edge of their seat. The name Makanouchi has become synonymous with comeback. Will he once again be able to live up to his own name? You won't be ready for this many punches! The challenger throws a left! Another! A powerful swing and there's no sign of damage from the knockdown! Date! Just be careful! You knock him down, that's when you gotta worry! You think we're kidding? But it's happened every time! Epo's about to turn into a killing machine! You knock him down and he always turns it around! Cool! Yeah! No damage! He's looking good! Let's go! Keep slamming! Break his focus! The challenger throws a series of fierce punches from below, but the champ is quick to block his efforts! Whoa! He's struck your forces in dead! It's only a matter of time until he breaks through his guard! That's good, Epo! Keep hammering into him! He can't twist his body if you throw a body blow! You'll break him down soon enough! Huh? Way to go, Epo! 
You don't see what's going on, do you? What's that? It might seem like those body blows are tearing into him, but if you look real close, you'll see he's blocking the worst of it. Oh. The champ is not just taking the blows, he's diverting them with his guard and sending the force of the impact away from his body. Oh. I got a bad feeling that the kid's gonna worry because he still can't feel an impact. No impact. The punches just fizzle out. He's smothering everything I throw at him. According to the experts, it takes an average of 0.2 seconds for the brain to fire orders to the nerves that create movement. A fighter's punches come flying up faster than 0.2 seconds. It's possible for a foreign fighter with muscular flexibility to divert a blow as soon as it hits. But for a Japanese boxer lacking in muscular flexibility to master the same skill, it's foresight. <laughs> And I'm not talking about just any foresight. The champ's got amazing insight. He watches, he learns everything from the speed of the swing to the angle, even the kid's character. And once he knows what the kid's thinking, he can block anything. If they're paying attention, they gotta figure it out by now. And I just know it's got him scared. Okita, do you remember what Date said about Makanauchi at the end of round one? Date said he was the most powerful challenger ever. Uh... Right. Date's making changes. He knows that Ippo's a lot different from the boxer he used to be. So Date's testing his mettle throughout the fight. That way, he can figure out his opponent's technical and spiritual limits. The challenger has become an open book. Date can easily beat him to the punch because he knows what he's thinking and where he's going to move next. Huh? Dante can really read his thoughts, he'll know that the kid's frustrated that his punches aren't having more of an effect. The kid will want to punch harder and faster. And if he becomes impatient enough, he'll start throwing roundhouses. My punches aren't doing anything. I have to put him down with something soft, or else he's gonna knock me down again. Don't do it! <laughs> Champion scores a clean punch! He knew I was gonna throw a roundhouse! Huh. The champion makes his move! He bounces into the challenge with both fists pounding! Mokunouji is frozen in his tracks as a lethal barrage rains upon him! He's in big trouble! Oh, that's gotta hurt! Mokunouji is getting clobbered and he can't seem to fight back! It's looking like the comeback just isn't gonna happen! He starts to slip! Will this be another knockdown? Will he fall? That's the end of the round! The challenger is saved by the bell! This round clearly went to the champ. He flawlessly beat the young challenger at his own game, mercilessly outpunching him at close range. Would you look at that pose? He asks the question loud enough for the whole arena to hear. Who is the strongest? You are the man, Dante! One more round is all it's gonna take to bust them wide open! You see that, Apo? Come back when you grow up! <sighs> he really is a maniac! Mr. Dante, you're gonna win this one! <sighs> You Come here and sit down. Rest up, champ. You smothered those power punches, but you were still taking some of the shot. That's some hard work, I gotta tell you. Don't talk, Dante. You have to save as much of your strength as you can for the next round. Don't worry. I'll have all the energy I need. Because by my watch, it's just about time to put him to sleep. He's swelling. Get some ice. Right. Let's stop the bleeding. <laughs> Don't let it get you down. The champ is starting to falter. He's starting to hurt. But I can't land a decisive punch. He's always one step ahead of me every time I try to throw one. Do I punch in a way that tells him what's coming next? I don't know. Maybe he's reading it off my rhythm and my footwork. I'm afraid the whole thing's a lot more complicated than that. It'd be just about impossible for anyone to predict your punches just by reading your quirks. Huh? When two boxers fight each other, the one who wins can usually detect the character and emotions of his opponent. And that's what we call insight. He has insight? The kind of insight Date has to smother all those punches can only come from years of experience. That sounds like something only a veteran could pull off. His knowledge increases every year that he fights. He has a lot of experience, and that is his greatest weapon against you. 
But you're young enough to have the courage to let go of your fear when you have to. And that's the edge you have against him. <sighs> now he's gonna try to finish you off this next round. Don't back off, no matter what. Exchange blows with him every chance you get. All right. Now what's the key to infighting? Hit him small, tight, and fast. Okay, say it again. Hit him small, tight, and fast. Go get him, kid. Time for round four. The damage is clearly visible on the challenger. It's an opportunity for the champion to close the deal. Could this be the round? This really is an incredible fight. It's the strongest I've ever seen, Mr. Dante. His boxing is flawless. I have a whole new respect for him. The champion makes his move, but the challenger is ready. They fall into another exchange of blows. Champ lands an uppercut! You know he's feeling it now! Remember, getting small, tight, and... <sighs> it's only a matter of time now. A knockout might be just too much to hope for. You can't pray for a miracle every time! What are you saying? He's always given us a reason to believe in him. He's gonna turn it around, I'm sure of it. A miracle is on its way! <sighs> That's your classmate out there, Umazawa. What kind of a lousy excuse for a cheerleader are you? You're right, Teach. Hey, Class B! Let me hear you shout! You can do it, Evo! Get it back, Killer! I know you can do it, Evo! The cry of Makanouji erupts from a small group of dedicated fans! He's sticking to his guns, but can he block this? He's open! Now's my chance! Hit him small! Hit him tight! My swing's too low. No time to block it. But I can smother it. And fast! <laughs> uh, a left from Makanuji! <sighs> I did it! I got him with my best punch! The champ is thrown backwards! That's the way you do it! Now get him again! You listen to me, kid! Now here's your chance! Take him out! He follows the left with a chop to the liver! Still standing? All right! Another one! A perfect gazelle punch! It was a clean hit! Good! I felt the impact! Exactly the same as when I knocked down Borg! There's no way he's gonna get up from that! <laughs> oh no! How's he still standing? That was the punch that defeated Borg! The truth is, Evo, your fists are light. You're gonna need more than that to defeat me. Don't my punches do anything to him? Good punch. For a second I thought my brain was gonna shoot right out the top of my skull. But it's nothing more than a strong punch from somebody that loves boxing so much. That's all the more reason I can't fall. <clears throat> now, feel the full weight of a champion's fist! <clears throat> I blocked it! He got through his guard! He pried right through it! Oh no! I think he's got a concussion! He'll wail on him. When it comes to pure destructive power, both Sendo and Borg were stronger. But there's something in the champ's punches that's different. It's almost as if every punch he throws is telling me I'll never lose. Is this what it means to have the fists of a champion? The champion launches a fierce barrage! He doesn't flinch from Makanuji's finishing blow that had sent ten men to the canvas! I really don't understand it. He's taken dozens of clean hits from Meepo and he can still punch back. I never knew that Date could take hits so well. 
The old guy lost the world match in two rounds by KO. He doesn't take punches as well as you might think. But what he lacks in grit, he makes up for with perseverance. He was stumbling about a minute ago, no doubt about it. The damage has taken its toll. The kid was probably too out of it to notice. If he doesn't pay attention, he might still believe his punches aren't working. My liver to gazelle combo was absolutely perfect. How can he still be hitting me with so much force? Aren't my punches getting through to him? What can I do? He's looking at the old guy's face all twisted in pain. And he's thinking it's the devil himself. Don't let him freak you out, you moron! This is a chance for you to win! The challenger is starting to lose his balance! A corkscrew! A powerful right! Just barely blocked! He's aiming for his heart! He's going for the finish just like he said he would! It's too early for him to try the heartbreaker. That last gazelle punch he took really hurt him bad. Oh, stay focused, kid, when you block that punch. He's all studied up on the heartbreaker. You're going down, teacher's pet. He threw a finishing blow and it turned into a roundhouse. I can hit him if I lash out. But what? What do I use on him? He's fighting different than every single video I've ever seen him in. It's not fair. I did everything I could. How in the world am I supposed to beat him? What's the matter, kid? Don't you know what you're supposed to do when you're against the ropes? What happened to all that courage you had during the board fight? Come on! What should I do? What do I do now? I can't think of any way to beat him! I never even had a chance. So, how will you fight him, huh? I've come this far because the title match was a goal. To win, I have to use all I know about fighting. I am the challenger, after all. I remember saying that now. Makanouji barely holds on! It's looking about as bad as it can get! Look out, kid! Have I really used... everything? The champion dives in from above! Oh, I didn't even realize. I can still move my arms. I can move my body, too. I can still fight. I still got more in me. Gate! Makanouchi strikes from below! A fierce uppercut! That was one hell of a shot! Now's your chance! Just go for it! <laughs> No good. My legs aren't listening to me. I haven't used everything I've got yet. My arms and legs can still move. I won't give up yet. He's coming. I'm so weak that I can't do the neck twist to smother his blows. It's not over till I can't move. Come on. Move, damn it. It's not over. Move it. <laughs> And there's a bell! Round four is over! Both fighters practically have to drag themselves back to their corners, but wow, did the challenger ever show us some true grit in that round?
He was about to fall when he threw that punch almost like he'd come back from the dead. It was enough of a move to give us all hope for the challenger. He shouldn't have been able to throw that uppercut. There's still a chance for a reversal. Yeah, but then again, Date's no slouch. He hasn't fallen once. <laughs> this match is driving me crazy. Is it like this every time Makanuchi fights? Every single fight. <sighs> That's right. Just business as usual. He's gonna turn it around, isn't he? I really have no idea what they're gonna do. Yeah, to tell you the truth, I'm kinda at a loss myself. What'll, What'll happen, happen, big guy? Put a sock in it. Just shut up and watch. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, I guess he's right. We should just sit back and enjoy the fact that it's pretty rare that a match as good as this one comes along. Yeah, it's a great fight. I wouldn't miss this. Don't ever give up, Epo! How am I supposed to know what's gonna happen? Stop the bleeding! Get me some adrenaline! Right, Chief! And some ice! The swelling's out of control! Got it! How are you holding up? Your eye's pretty bad, can you see? <sighs> that was a serious uppercut. There's no way he saw that punch that you just threw. You were both injured about the same. Do you think you can go on and hit him with a few more surprises? I... I... What is it, kid? I... I can... move. Still move. Is that so? You can still move, huh? Have to use everything. Eh? I won't let the fight end until I have used everything. Because I'm the challenger. I just can't quit. Oh. The kid's half out of it. Don't worry about patching me up. I need a massage. My legs are seizing up on me. That young kid's turning out to be a real tough challenger. Up until this last round, I would have bet anything you were gonna knock him out. Please, get my legs to work. If you can just do that, I'll tear him to pieces, I promise. Damn that bastard. I'll get him, don't worry. I'll smash him in the face till it caves in. Damn him! That rotten little turd! Cornerman, out! Kid! Listen, he's gonna try to use his corkscrew on you. So you gotta keep your left guard up, no matter what. Flip him around with your punches and take him out. Go to it! You can do this, right? You hear this? He doesn't look good. Do you really think he heard what you said? I do, but I doubt he understands. What do you think? Are your legs gonna hold? Uh-huh. Back in a flash, boss. Huh? <laughs> Round five! The stadium is screaming for Makanuji! Will he be able to give them the comeback they're waiting for? Can you believe this? That last uppercut really got the whole crowd worked up! Can't blame the fans. It was a damn good punch, and Date took a lot of hey, hits. And there's something else. I've never seen Mr. Date this pissed off during a fight. Do you think he's all right? He's having a great time. Huh? People are always saying about how cool and calm he is. Actually, the truth is, I'd say, those people never knew the real Date. It's been a long time since he called me boss. For a second there, I thought I was caught in a time warp. Uh, that sure takes me back. When we first paired up, he'd come flying out of that corner, raring to go. Yep, Dante, you're making a comeback. He's got the same energy that he had when we hit Mexico. Coming here has really put him in top condition. He's still a champion. The bell is rung. Round five begins. Now, boss. and makes his move! He pushes the challenger back with a mighty barrage! Oh! Makanuchi tries to give it back, but misses! Alright! It's a corkscrew blow! The challenger blocks it! He blocks another one! His left guard holds firm! He's been strengthening his guard whenever he backs off. Then he moves in and throws short hits, just like he was told to. He's doing good. You think maybe Epo's starting to come back? 
No way. Out like a light. <clears throat> He's on autopilot, Yagi. He still fights exactly the way I taught him because it's drilled into him, see? This goes a hell of a lot deeper than what most people describe as dedication to training. This kid has put all of his faith in this old man, pure and simple. I still believe I have to earn your faith. So go ahead and fight your limit, kid. But as soon as you start to go past that limit, I'm gonna be ready. And I'll throw this towel in without a second's thought. The real duty of any good trainer is to see his boxer through to the end of the fight and get him home safe. Do your best, kid. He blocks another one! His left guard holds firm! He's on autopilot, Yagi. He still fights exactly the way I taught him because it's drilled into him, see? <laughs> this kid has put all of his faith in this old man, pure and simple. <laughs> you put that kind of faith in me and you'll get it back. I'll let you fight your limit. But as soon as you start to go past that limit, I'm gonna be ready. And I'll throw this towel in without a second's thought. The real duty of any good trainer is to see his boxer through to the end of the fight and get him home safe. Do your best, kid. <laughs> Mr. Date, forget about the corkscrew. It's not working. Circle around and attack him that way. He can't. Huh? A well-thrown corkscrew sets everything in motion, from the toes into the fists. It's the one punch that you have to throw your whole self into. When a punch like that doesn't finish off an up-and-comer who's already half in the bag, it can be taken as a big old slap in the face. And since he's gunning for a world title, he's gonna have to stick to it until he can't move. That's the kind of guy he is. Hmm. It sounds like him. <laughs> Ebo's starting to be thrown around like a chew toy. But he's still doing great. Ebo's being pushed back, but not one of those corkscrews have landed. <laughs> yeah, that's the way. Dodge him, Ebo! Go, Ebo! Keep it up, Makino! <laughs> Look at him. He's barely standing. From the look in his eyes, I'd say he was sleepwalking. <laughs> Those eyes, they're so swollen, there's no way he can see what he's doing. But I know that he hears us. Oh. You got it, Ippo, now go in and you hit him! Do it. Go for it, go for it, okay. Makano Uchi! Go for it, go for it, Makano Uchi! Go for it, go for it, Makano Uchi! Go for it, uh, What are you for waiting for? Makano Let's Uchi. back up our cheerleader and scream our heads off! Yes, yes, sir! The challenger digs in with a series of bloody blows. He butts heads with the champ and delivers a barrage. He pushes him back to the ropes. Where in the world does he get his strength? He's really punching, Dotson. I knew you had some left, didn't you? Yeah! I want to be like that. Good. Whoa! The champion returns fire. It's an all-out war on the canvas tonight. Don't let up, A.G. It's just like the old days. Always ready for a fist fight. Just play him at his own game and don't get out punched. Just hang in there. Unstoppable! The challenger marches forward against the champ! He's got the edge at close range and his strength is just plain scary! You know how hard it is to punch with you leaning into me? And where's all this power coming from, you freaking mutant? <laughs> The body blows keep coming fast and sharp! The champ is in a world of hurt! You're a machine, Ebo! Black and bad! Stand tall, Dante! Get away from me! He takes the punch and dives in for more! Get the hell away from me!
You like that? What? He's pushing back into me again! Wakanouchi has outboxed the kill! It's a clear case of too much damage over too much time. It doesn't look like there's any way he'll be back on his feet by the end of the ten count. How uh, uh, the hell with the stupid countdown already? Huh? Kid, you still going? It's not over yet. Makinouchi rises up from the floor. He's gonna stand. He's getting up! Back from the dead! Keep on going, Makinouchi! <sighs> Turns out he wasn't trying to push me back. He was just in such a sorry state that he couldn't keep up without leaning on me. Your fighting instinct is absolutely terrifying. It's so perfect. I bet you could fight me in the dark. <sighs> That's it. I'm over here. Let's get this over with. You're doing it. Come close and I'll put you out of your misery. But you gotta get up first. Seven! Eight! He's back up! The challenger has made it to his feet at the count of seven! Can you believe it? <sighs> Makanouchi, show me your eyes! Huh? Makanouchi has assumed a fighting pose! Can he fight? It's a tough call, but Ippo's always been hard to gauge. Should I stop him? What should I do? Should I stop the fight? Wait a sec! Makanouchi! Look at that! He goes forward without waiting for the referee's call! Now box! Thanks. That'll save me the walkover. Man, that last barrage really messed me up. You're not the only one ready to fall apart. The champ falls into a fighting stance with time to spare. Makanouchi gradually closes the distance. Kid! I think he's punched himself out. Makanouchi! Ippo! It's too much. Why are you doing this to yourself? You can't fight. You were using your opponent to hold you up. Don't worry about waiting for a miracle. You're doing it right now. And it's enough. Wow, he can't walk. It's almost like he's walking to his own execution. A body blow. Huh? The old guy is sucking wind and he's got nowhere to go. A body blow will take him out. Really? Are you saying that last barrage did that much damage to him? Huh? Now that you mention it, he's not moving at all. He's still in his corner. The big guy's right. Epo, just one more body blow. One in the gut. That's all it'll take. Going for a liver blow. 
Oh, He's in the corner! He's got nowhere to go! It's a perfect chance to win! <sighs> no! He wasn't backed into the corner! The old guy <sighs> got there himself! <sighs> <sighs> He's swinging too wide! It's over when I say it is! No! Dante! Huh? before the towel lands! Every ounce of strength has been used up by the challenger! But in the end, the last one standing is the champion! A.G. Date! The fight is over!